Hello, 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 hello. Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. So the other day, the other day I told you guys that my white truck, that, come on. So the other day I, I told you guys this was available. This was for sale. I replaced the entire front end on this thing. I put $4,200 or so. We have all the receipts into the front end, like replaced everything because long story short, I just replaced it. I don't know. The guy said I needed to, so I did. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. Anyway, didn't really matter. I'm going to condense down to one truck. And uh, last week I gave the wrong number out. So apologies to whoever that gentleman was uh, that I sent a lot of people to you. But if you guys would like this truck right here, it is available. It's up here at the warehouse. The title's up here, the keys are up here. You guys can call Grant, this is his number. This is the actual number, It'll be linked in the top of the description. All right, his number is 713-408-7785. Last time I put 7758. So that gentleman, whoever got that, was not a happy camper at all. Anyway, yeah, we'll have 250s up here. I don't know how many miles are on this thing. It's 207,000. So seven three, sweet succulent thing, but she's clean, look at this. Look at this. I just want to condense down to one truck, so. And I think, I think we might be giving the black truck away for a hunting trip later on in the year. That's that, that's just like, she's up here. If you guys want to come snag her, she might be here this week. I don't know, thought I'd at least tell you guys. And I got eight up down here, the bugs. Um, What should we do today? I've got a little bit of an idea what we're gonna do. I don't know if they're open. Let me call them real quick. It says that they're open. You're gonna laugh. The reason why I'm going down there, you're gonna think it's kind of funny. Oh, I was just seeing if you guys are actually open. Uh, it sounds like you uh, are. Yes, we'll be here until six. Cool. Thank you so much, sir. Cool. They're open. So I did pick up a new bow. Let's go over there. If you want to take like the big hatchet. Yeah. Just... No, I just want. I just need the. Go. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying we gotta take the wood out anyway. If you want, just like chop it. You can, you want to chop it? Yeah, but I'll see if you want to. No, you can chop it. Okay. You need to build the muscles up. Your dad wants you to build the muscles up. That's will you, why. Will you go grab them? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, get out there and work, bub. All right, all right, all right. So I actually, I bought this yesterday. I went up to Cinnamon Creek. Uh, if you guys do live here in Fort Worth or in Dallas or just in North Texas, I think they're one of the best archery shops in the state. I think, generally because they're really nice people. I was up there with Kyle yesterday. He stayed till after close to get this thing set up. I chose this one and to be inside, I mean, okay, so let's just go ahead and back up real quick. In my position, I'm very fortunate and very blessed to be able to, I can get bows for free. I'm not, this is not like a, like a, what is that? What is that when you flop your on your table? What is that called? What's it called? I'm flexing? Is that what they call yeah. it? The youngsters? Yeah. I'm not flexing. I'm being. I'm telling you guys this for a reason. Uh, I could have got a Bowtech, a Hoyt. I could have had one of these sent down for free, um, or another Prime. I had Prime last year, but I decided I went in there and I actually held on to them, grabbed on to those sons of gun, and uh, I ended up picking up this one. Um, it's a 31 and a half inch. Uh, I think I might actually get another a 28 inch for a deer, but this is my new elk bow for this year. I went with the same rolling five pin that I've been using over the last uh, three years. My third one I've had last year, I had this on the prime. I had, I actually, we're gonna set it up differently this year. I learned a lot over the last couple of years when it comes to bows. Uh, I would assume that a lot of people are a little nervous when it comes to bows, like getting into it. Cause for one, it's very expensive. And two, it's kind of hard to learn, but this is pretty neat. Look at this. You can actually shoot with this thing on there. And when you're like at the range, you just kind of put it down so your cam doesn't get jacked. I thought that was pretty neat. So that's that. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this for a while. I will say last year, I really liked that quivalizer I had on there. I kind of injured my shoulder quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I tried pulling back 70 yesterday. I pulled it back once, not happened. I couldn't pull it back a second time. So we're sitting at 60, but the way that this bow is set up, hopefully we can have penetration up to 80 yards on elk is what I'm, I'm hoping for. Um, I'm gonna pull it back once, I guess. Big reason why I'm showing you guys this, a lot of people get excited over bows. Uh, I actually, the last three years, I've got a new bow every single year. I had a Hoyt, a Prime, and now I have a Matthews. So yes, I am dipping my toes into the water of all this, um, trying everything out. I will say, I think the Matthews is a little heavier than the Prime, I believe so. Feels a little, feels a little heavier, but oh, sh I just realized something, Cam. I think I'm gonna ask him to send me a quivalizer. 
I just realized something. Because when I do this, you know how I was holding on to it last year? Mm -hmm. But I just realized, because when you're walking with your elk cut and you, you put your shit on your shoulders and you walk, the arrows will be on my back. One sec, I'm gonna make a phone call. Hey, uh, is he out there picking up those targets? Yeah. Okay, cool. No, I need him, I need him. I just wonder if he was, if he was out there doing it now. And this is what we're using this year. Different arrow, uh, we're using a 330. This is an Easton carbon injection. Different end up here, we fight, what are these? What are they called, fire knocks? I don't know. They add some weight to the end of it. And I'm using light knocks this year. Last year I wasn't using light knocks, which kind of sucks. Light knocks are like 25 bucks for three. So let that sink in right now. That's That means I'm gonna have to spend hundreds of dollars on on knocks. And the thing is, is how did he explain it to me? So the, why, the, light, the lit knocks is gonna have a little bit, they're gonna weigh a little bit more. So the arrow is gonna fly different. So every single arrow that I'm gonna be practicing with has to have a lit knock. So I'll only use like five. God dang, how, you know what? Doesn't matter. Why the fuck am I talking about this? Okay, update. I just realized something. I could just turn the bow over the other way and carry it like this. But it was so much easier. I don't know. Doesn't matter. No, no, we're talking about. Some of you guys are getting the bow. Go check out Cinema Creek. Uh, they know what they're talking about. What's wrong? Oh, are they real heavy? How much is real heavy? Like too heavy? Too heavy. Too heavy? Oh. Ah. Um, I wonder what's inside. I don't know, we can cut one open and find out. Yeah, just, I just need to yeah, go ahead and just grab one of them. Yeah, those are doable. Yeah, uh, just throw yeah, those anywhere, it don't matter. Just put it against the wall. What's that? Plastic? It's not what I want to do. So this thing's not sided in even the slightest bit, so, like, not at all. I'm actually going to shoot 100 arrows through it and then worry about siding it in. Because last year I learned real quick. New bows, don't jack with them. Just don't even jack with your sight tape. So this thing, I don't want to explain it. Don't need to explain it, but basically I'm going to get the bow broke in, take it back up there, make sure the peep is still right and then go back out and then side it in. All right. So Cam, this is what it's actually gonna look like. And this year we're using Lit Knox. I'm just gonna bring one of these out so Cam can see what it looks like. There you go. Oh, damn, my shoulder is really hurting me right now. Hopefully if I pull back a couple more times, it just work the kink out. Oh. Tell you what, we're having like a quick little group in there. They're actually kind of close. Really hurting. Yeah, when we go to, when we go to uh, actually side in the bow, I'll only use lit knocks and I'll take all these off. As you can tell I me, mean, look how much bigger that is. It is, it is a little bit heavy and bows are so damn finicky. You have to have like the right, everything has to be right. Oh, 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 I'm using a hundred grain this year. hundred grain broadhead. Last year I was using, who, who fuck, I don't even remember. Doesn't matter. So last year I was also shooting a 28 and a half inch draw this year. I knew I was long last year, but I'm down to, I'm down to 28 draw. And it feels a billion times better. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Coming on the other side. Look at this. Does this not look a million times better? It's a billion times better. You know what? I, I, I was sitting here looking at this bow. It shoots nice. Yeah. It feels good, smooth, whatever. But you're right. I need one of those quivalizers, like 100%. Okay. Because right. I, I, I just put it over my shoulders, and I realized it's it won't work. The way that I was walking, all it just won't work. You're right. Dude, I'm telling you, once you do that, when it comes to spotting and stalking and walking and doing everything, mm -hmm. man, that quivalizer is yeah. so nice to right. with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm game for that thing 110%. It's, it's, that's a game changer. What color you want? Whatever color, it don't matter. They don't, that's, that don't matter. Okay. I, right. I would be right, so a, i'll get you a quivalizer do me a favor though give me a give me a code or something and i'll uh order some of them googan baits you don't need a code just give me your damn address and i'll send you a big box bub really yeah i know the guy that owns the company <laughs> all right well i don't like you know I, no I just tell good. me no just tell me what you want yeah send, send me your address and i'll send you a big ass box i got you awesome man i want to i'm gonna go smallmouth fishing so yeah, i got a bunch you. of like a whole bunch of stuff so yeah, i got <laughs> you I'll let you know. I'll send. I'll send it down to be the first thing. Right when I get your address, I'll ship it over to the people and send it to you. That's how I'm doing. I'll be equalizer out to you. Thank you so much, bub. No problem, babe. See ya. See.
I used that last year. I'm telling you guys, that's a huge thing. If you guys are like shooting from a deer stand or shooting from a, a deer blind, excuse me, or like a, like a tree stand, um, that's fine. That's no biggie. That's fine, it does its job. But when you're like humping 10 to 15, 12, 13, how many miles was that average last year? Like 13 or 12, eight or something? Yeah, I think it's like 13 miles on average every day last year. You don't like carrying your bow to the side, terrible, those stupid slings suck. You gotta throw it over your back, hold on to the quibble that goes out to like here and you just walk up the hill. I will say, I do like the way this thing is shooting. It also being a half inch shorter has helped me a lot. Last year when I come back, I had to kind of find myself, but I got kind of used to it. Just wanna let you know. That's it. I was told about that, yes. Oh, sh damn, what's going on? <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I told you guys my shoulder's hurting a little bit. It kinda hurts to pull back 60 when I was pulling it back like straight up. I don't know. I know there's a lot of bow hunters that watch this. There might be some Western hunters as well. But this is a billion times easier. Look, look at that, look how easy that was. I've never done it like that and I just now did it. Beforehand, I was just drawing it back like straight using having to use one arm and shoulder. I mean, you look around, you see all this nice, sweet, succulent spot. This is one of my favorite places to come to buy random sh I'm actually going to come before. See, this is such a misread. It is such a dramatic misread. We actually weren't even listening to that. Today's episode sucked, Ben. Actually, some good stuff on the coronavirus. Well, let's see what Matt Best said. You tell me, sexy jorts man. That's literally what his, his text says, look. Really actually what it says, it says, you tell me you sexy shorts, man. When can we do the show? We can do it whenever you're free, remote, or in person. Cam, it's getting really fucking hot in this truck. I'm just gonna throw, like really, it's like, so what, how you doing, lady? I'm gonna get out, she's gonna see these sexy ass thighs, and she'll be like, ooh. I should buy this for Matt Kendrick's office. I think we're gonna get, I think I'm gonna get that for Kendrick, Kendrick over there for his office. You know, Kendrick doesn't have a lot of like cool manly stuff in his office. He has like nail polish. He's got some like files for his nails. He might have something. He, I need to get him, I need to get him this. It's coming from the guy wearing jorts, right? I think he needs this for his office. It's only 40 bucks. It's a good little office prop. Kind of like it. It's got little spider webs on it. Dude, I kind of want like this. What the hell am I gonna do with it? That's the problem. I come to these places and I always want to buy the dumbest shit possibly think of just cuz why not like why do they have these radios what are you ever gonna do with those yes what would I do with this I don't know this could be used for a video so I actually decided to bring this sucker out today and look it actually fit <laughs> it actually fit in the back. I didn't think it was going to. I wonder if it's hot because of the engine. No, not at all. Not at all. I will say this. I wish I wish I can get this color. I like this color. This is Matt's car. I love this color. And he's got green. If I did if I did if I did green, it wouldn't really match the inside. He did this because of Guggen Green. And I like it. I think it looks clean. Fit a lot of a lot of soccer moms in this thing. I don't know why you'd fit a lot of soccer. I don't really know why you'd fit a lot of soccer moms, but Okay, I don't really even know if I explained to you guys what this is. This is a 120 uh, millimeter. It's a, it's a mortar, this is a mortar round. Well, it's not a mortar round, it's the actual tube that the mortar round was in at one point. I mean, these things are everywhere. Well, literally they're everywhere. I mean, this thing was only 40 bucks to buy. So it tells you how, tells you how many there are. We, I was starting to think about it. We didn't have 120 millimeter on our camp. We had a, I think it was an 80, I, I think it was an 81 millimeter. And we also had the handhelds, which God, it feels like it's been seven, eight years now since I had to do this or think about this. I think, it's, I think it was an 81 and a, a 60. I think it's an 81 and a 60. I might be incorrect there. And then there's manager Matt. <laughs> it's probably the first time one of these ever been in an elevator. It's kind of strange. Well, imagine that thing hitting the glass. So then, how many couple more options we got to talk about with these die graphs, which I think we talked about already. We want Matter of fact, I've filmed over a thousand videos between this channel and Guggen Channel, probably upwards of probably 13 or 1400 videos. And uh, I've never done one like this. Uh, it's coming on the advice of our manager, manager Matt. He stated, <laughs> Don't even he <laughs> just wait. Uh, right? He said, hey, you need to do an ASMR video. And I laughed because, for one, I kind of know what ASMR is. I've never watched any of the videos other than like cringy ones that people make fun of. 
watch his ASMR videos. I really do. I think he sits inside of his room, plays there, and he's like... <laughs> oh, you missed the best part. That was the biggest joke I was trying to make for you. Watch his ASMR videos. I really do. I think he sits inside of his room, plays there, and he's like... <laughs> Kendrick is now sifting through the comments of that ASMR creepy video that I posted yesterday. Yes, it was strange, but it is oddly satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Cam watched the video four times. Four times! And he edits the videos, so, kinda strange. Man, oh. let's see more videos of this certain one. Is there someone who's happy about it? Uh, yeah, I know, but there's gotta, there's gotta be even more creepy ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hold on. Let me, let me... <laughs> oh, and by the way, you look real good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> this is a great marketing strategy, but Matt, huge props for both of you, including you, Rob, to make this jump. Please don't make another one for a year. Though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the comments are the best. Is there any more good ones? <laughs> Went from stabbing pigs to this. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these. You can't read about loud or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just watching you right now. You just look so uncomfortable. <laughs> you look like it's, it's just uncomfortable where I to read that. It's so funny. Did you make me do that video because you just wanted to see how I... <laughs> Is it? Did you make me do that just because you knew it'd be awkward? Uh, I mean, I'm sitting here watching it. This is, you know, this is pretty satisfying. <laughs> I think I'm just going to turn this on when I come in the office every day and just have it on repeat. Listen to that. Mm. <laughs>